Well, it looks like, intentional or not, Seasonic gave away the power specs for the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX video cards, all of them. And it kind of shows here, you know, how you can get to this information on their website. Just choose the video card and then it will give you the total power for each particular video card. I'm going to be going through uh, that right now, but it is good news for a lot of people who have, you know, a 4090 and the system built around that. Hopefully you've built a system with very few bottlenecks and that's what you want to do if you're building a high-end system. So everything, video card, memory, and motherboard, great power supply, great SSD and all the rest of it, it all has to work extremely well together. But if you have a 4090 now, you can probably just go ahead and swap out that one and put in a 5090 because the 5090 is only 50 watts more than the 1490. So let me just go through some of the power specs here for each of these RTX 50 series video cards. So the 5090 will be 500 watts, the 5080 will be 350 watts, the 5070 will be 220 watts, the 5060 will be 170 watts, and the 5050 will be 100 watts. And all of these just require one 16 pin connector. Good stuff. I will also link you to this particular site if you want to find out a bit more information about it.